What is up? It is Snowflake, and I'm going to show you how to use MPEG Stream Clip to prepare a video for YouTube. All right, so I use this program called I Show You HD to do screen captures, and when it's captured, what I have shown on my tutorials, it creates a ProRes file. All right, that ProRes file is typically freaking huge. Um, if it's a minute of video, it's about a gig. If it's four minutes, it's four gigs. It's ridiculous. You can't upload that to YouTube. It's way too big. So I use this program called MPEG Stream Clip. It's free. You can get it at squared5.com right there. Cool. All right. So very simple here. We're going to go find the video that I would like to compress into an MPEG 4. Um, it's going to be in my movies. I show you HD. Export. Now this is the one I just did on QuickTime conversions in Final Cut Pro 7. So I'm going to dump it in here. All right, and then we're going to, really simple here, just go up to File and Export to MPEG-4. All right, now the compression type is not going to change. Uh, it's, it's, I think, standard for an MPEG-4 uh, to do H.264 as the codec. Now you can change the quality here in percentage rate, uh, but to be more accurate, you want to do a limit data rate. And there you can actually just type in a number. I type in 5,000 as my data rate. Um, and that creates a good quality HD video for YouTube. In the sound tab, I leave the codec, whatever it is, I just leave it how it is, but I change the bit rate to 120, about half of what it sets it at, which is a great audio quality for tutorials and, and even other YouTube videos. It's, it's not really noticeable, um, unless you had maybe some freaking super badass speakers. Okay, so uh, frame size, I'm just going to leave it how it is. It captures it at HD 1920 by 1080, so you can see that's unscaled. I'm not going to change it. You can change it if you want. You can change it to these different dimensions, or you can go in here and create a custom one, um, which I do sometimes if I want to send something to a client or I want to put it somewhere where I need a smaller dimension. But for this, I'm just going to keep it as it is because I like to have the HD videos on YouTube. Uh, under interlace scaling, it is captured at 2997, which is an interlaced frame rate. So I, you keep that box checked, interlaced scaling. If it was 24 frames per second, you would deselect that because that would be a progressive frame rate. Um, but for this, we're going to leave interlaced scaling on. You can also deinterlace the video if you wanted to. Sometimes you can really see the scan lines or the interlaced lines on the video. Uh, so it, sometimes people like to do the deinterlace and it removes that. And it does it pretty well. MPEG Stream Clip does it pretty well. That's all you really have to do. The rest of it might look confusing to someone who is uncertain how to use this program, but that's all you have to do to compress it down into a good um, file size and type for YouTube. So now you just hit M make MPEG-4, you um, make sure you're exporting to the right location, and you hit save, and it comes up here with a little preview window, and uh, here that shows like the status, the percentage of where it's at during the export, and I don't know, if it's a, it's a three minute, four minute video, it might take three to four minutes depending on the speed of your computer, but it doesn't take that long and it creates a much smaller file. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please comment on the video, subscribe to my channel, like the video, and check back more for other tutorials and tips on Final Cut Pro, Apple Motion, and Compressor. Thanks.